everybody, this is Mr. Clemmer, and I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about statistical analysis. Uh, the next problem we're dealing with in biomedical innovation is learning how to do statistical analysis. And before we show you the process, we wanted you to understand why this is such an important uh, part of science, because uh, it seems like math, it feels like math, and it is, but the mathematics is it's the lifeblood of what we do in science. So for statistical analysis, what it allows you to do is to prove the things that you've been doing in science class. Basically up to this point in your science career, from elementary school to middle school to even other high school and AP high school classes you've had, if you've done an experiment, you've come up with results and you've said, yes, I've, I've got the answer. But technically you don't until you can prove um, to a certain amount of statistical significance that your results are reliable, then you do not yet have an answer. So what you're gonna to learn to do in statistics and statistical analysis is really powerful because you can now say definitively that your results are supported by mathematics and by the language of science. So we're gonna break up into segments uh, because it is a large process, it's a long process. It's gonna be slightly difficult, especially if you don't have experience with statistics, but uh, you're gonna learn a powerful skill here. So we're gonna break up into segments and then you'll be able to navigate through the segments to run from the results of an experiment all the way through to the end where you can determine whether or not you have achieved significant results. So sit back, relax, and enjoy and learn yourself some statistical analysis.